I was banging. My face was beat. I was near death. Okay, they beat the shit out of my face. What up, what up, what up, professionally silly channel? How y'all doing, Smile Squad? What's poppin'? I'm Amber Smiles Jones. If you're new, welcome. Welcome aboard. We get silly around here. Don't mind me, just out here being brown and pretty. Ew. Melanation. We're gonna go back in time, because I told you guys I got a few videos that I, that I never got to share with you guys, given everything that's been going on uh, in my family. So when I got my job at the bird show, one of the things I had to do was like this photo shoot, this photo shoot thing that they have. So um, I got a chance to actually put on lashes for the first time, like those fake lashes that y'all be doing all the time. Ladies and gents, shit. You know, um, I don't know how the fuck y'all do this every day. I don't know how y'all do it. It's ridiculous. I did not like it. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click that thumbs up button as well. That is the best way to help me and a very tiny, tiny YouTuber, a very small creator, so I can at least get like just a small creator. I'm just teeny tiny, but I want to get to small. Like, help me out. <laughs> oh, by the way, we're using some Instagram stories footage. If you're not following me on Instagram at True Smiles Jones, repair that because literally when I do post stuff, it's literally like almost like a, a mini vlog, almost like a daily mini vlog. You know, I'd be posting some random ad things there. All right, let's get to it. Okay, guys, I am at my very first photo shoot for the bird show. I am. I feel out of place because they're all so amazing and they're all so talented and they're all so beautiful and they're just, they're wonderful people and I know that those are probably ways that you guys would describe me but that's not always how I see myself so I feel like I don't belong, you know? So I'm trying to get my, my mindset out of thinking like that but it's hard. But I wanted you guys to see my makeup because I've never had fake lashes before. This is my first time. It's, I also haven't had professional makeup done, I don't think ever. Usually when I had an event, it was just someone who knew how to do makeup who did it, but it wasn't like a professional. And uh, I think she did a great job. Shout out to Ingrid. She made me look beautiful. I've never felt so pretty in my entire life, and this is really cool. I feel like a kid, first day of school, you know? <laughs> I feel like this is something that anybody can possibly understand. We've all experienced that feeling of feeling like, oh, I don't deserve to be here, or I should be better, or I'm not good enough, whatever it is, whatever, whichever way that negative thought forms in your brain, we gotta, we really gotta give ourselves a break. We really have to accept our, our W's when we get them. Cause let me tell you something, life obviously is full of W's and L's and it does feel like we, we tend to get more L's than the W's, but here's my little thing on that. That's not necessarily true. One of the human things is that we do as a, as a whole, stereotypically, we tend to focus on the negative narratives of everything. Like for instance, me as a, YouTuber or as a social media influencer, whatever the you want to call me. The thing is when I get negative reviews or someone writes something that's really mean or cruel in my comment section, I see those. It's like they're highlighted, bold, italicized, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. And then surrounded by all of those are just lovely comments. Oh, I like your video. Your smile is nice. You're my favorite creator. Those become like in the background. And the same thing with you guys. If someone leaves a negative comment or something under a photo you've posted or something you've done or said or whatever, it, you see those, they kind of stand out. I don't know why we do that, why we tend to just focus on the negative shit, but there are many, many times that we have W's and we have got to pay attention to those and really appreciate those W's because when they come, it feels amazing. But at the same time, you're also going through this feeling of, well, if I just got this W, I know an L is coming around the corner. We gotta stop focusing on that. Take the Ws, bro. Take those, love them, cherish them, and don't ignore them. This is so awesome! Photo shoot with the bird show. <laughs> just looks so natural handing out hearts. <laughs> Can tell you right now with wearing lashes for the first time it's so weird it feels like there's something always on your face and you can't really move it because then you take off all of it so it just takes some getting used to it's like i'm lifting weights with my eyes i don't know how women do this every day it's ridiculous <laughs> listen i said what i said i don't know 
how y'all do that shit daily. My eyes were exhausted, gooky shit on my eyelash. Like, how do y'all do every day? Every day. No. No. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I'm never doing it again. I mean, I look good. Bitch, I was banging. My face was beat. I was near death. Okay, they beat the shit out of my face. But I'm never doing that last shit again. That was too much. <laughs> they said, look at them. They said they didn't plan this. I don't buy it. It's the same color green. Look at it's the same color green. Y'all planned that. We didn't. Yes, you did. Wait, what you, we did not plan this. So y'all both came with the same green and sexy at the same time. No reason. <laughs> She's bad when Katie had my ring camera. <laughs> well. Bro, listen, to this day, to this day, I am convinced that, that they planned that. I'm convinced. I am convinced. <laughs> I'm acting like it was like years ago or something, bro. This is like two months ago. <laughs> but to this day. <laughs> this is insane. Those are my bosses. There's Mo, Kristen, Bert, Abby, and there's Cassie with the red hair right there. These are my bosses. My boss, Tommy. I am extremely blessed that these people gave me an opportunity to be a part of what they're doing. I still have imposter syndrome, but I'm glad to be here. I feel blessed. I just, I don't really have words for what I'm going through right now, but this is a great feeling. Just make sure you guys stay sexy. Says so right there. Follow instructions. Do your best. It's your boy. Young. So I just did my first photo shoot with the Burt Show. I got my fake lashes for the first time. Never done that before. Professional doing my makeup. I just no, feel like I wish shit don't I'm just happy as shit. I want to drive to my left. I can't drive without it. <laughs> the time came where I had to say goodbye to the lashes, to the makeup, to my beat face. I had to unbeat my face to get back to. It was a it was a sad moment, a sad occasion. Chris and I shared this personal moment, and I want to share it with you all. Commence the unbeating of my face. How do I <laughs> say goodbye to what we had? I'm saying it to my makeup because it's time for me to take it off now. For the good times that made us laugh, I would have Tomorrow's world all the way. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. <laughs> goodbye, lashes. Goodbye, beauty. Goodbye, Sunday. It's what rhymes with Sunday? Fun day. Hello, fun day. Tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow's Monday. <laughs> Time for me to take these out and off and all that. So, I'm going to miss your face. Be it out of love. Be it out of love. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the f You people... You, you women, every day, every day, I just started this, every day, this, I mean, I look beautiful, but Jesus, it's, it's a lot though, right? Am I, I'm not even done, like this, I, every day, that's a lot of work. Y'all have a lot of time, I can't, it's, it, this is an art, this is an art, I can't, I mean, I already knew it was an art, but Jesus. <sighs> Anyways, let me get back to work. <laughs> I'm back. Did 
go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But I'm... What? what? <laughs> I missed my face before this. How close to you every step of... Oh, God. The way... And I... Didn't I tell you my Instagram stories be crazy and random? You might want to follow me. Things get things get random over there. Okay. <laughs> it's really cool. I'm literally right now editing video footage uh, for the Bird Show. And I think they're going to put it on the Facebook, on the Bird Show Facebook page. And it's, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, which is a very interesting software. I've never used it before. And uh, I almost have it down. I'm just... I hope that they're happy with my work because oh, I am working. Go. Jesus! Fuck! Well, sometimes oh, they say things on that that scared the crap out of me. I thought somebody was in here. So when I'm in the office with the Bird Show, uh, my job is to edit videos. It's to listen live uh, to the show so that when phone calls come in, I know what the topic what topic is being discussed, and I can be like, "Hey, uh, good morning, Bird Show. What do you think about this man?" trying to sleep with his fiance and her best friend for a threesome. You know, <laughs> we talk about rare the bad stuff over there. Before. So sometimes when the show isn't live and, and their mics are hot, I can hear random things. Like if there's a couple of hot mics in there, I can hear what they're saying in the studio down the hall. But I, I, I don't always expect them to be saying something. So sometimes it freaks me out because I'm like, oh shit, who was that? <laughs> so I... Oh my God, shut up. You're a dick. I just found out that was this. Can I speak? <laughs> I just found out because I was, I didn't get to listen to the bird show until just now. And they're having this, this, this challenge of trying to get diapers for, for the help of helping mama's uh, foundation. And uh, they're getting a lot of diapers to help babies in need. Long story short, Kristen, thanks, has up the ante saying that if we get, 40,000 diapers donated to Helping Mamas Foundation. If we get 40,000 diapers, the entire cast of The Bird Show has to pose in adult diapers. She made it very clear in today's episode, everybody at the photo shoot on Sunday. I was at the photo shoot on Sunday. She and Tommy, the show director of The Bird Show, they decided to pre-record Mo, Bert, and Abby saying the words, count me in. Okay, those three words, count me in. They thought that they were uh, doing a voiceover advertisement for the radio station. And so, you know what? I'm going to let Kristen explain it herself. We have collected 17,500 wow. diapers. Shut up! That's right? crazy, man. That's so awesome. We haven't got to our 20,000 mark yet, but I've learned from the best. We got to make it bigger. If we hit 20,000 diapers... I will pose for a photo in an adult diaper. Shut okay. up. Stop this. No. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, Bert, can I count you in? If we collect 25,000 diapers, will you pose in an adult diaper? Count me in. All right, Mo, if uh, we no, collect no, 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 30,000 no. diapers, can I count you in to count pose? In. Can I count you in to pose in a photo in an adult diaper? Count me in. All right, Abby. If we collect 35,000 diapers, <laughs> can I count you in to pose in a photo in an adult diaper? Count me in. All right. Oh, we got this the is whole entire setup. crew. Now wow. I can figure out why he made us record yep. that. <laughs> now, so that by together. the way, none of us said that live. <laughs> that was all Tommy and Kristen recording that a couple of days ago. We had no idea why they recorded that. I don't that. know what you're talking about. <laughs> wow. Kristen, I'm still single. <laughs> if men see me in this photo, I will never get a point. That's a fact. <laughs> This is one of those moments where I've never wanted to win and lose more than every, like, I don't even, I can't, I want the diapers. I want the babies to have the diapers. I just don't want to wear the diaper. I mean, I'll do it. Stop laughing. You're a failure and I hate you. Funny. <laughs> Real funny. That is hilarious. And I will do it if, if we actually do get to 40 
thousand diapers donated but goodness gracious right, so i am currently in the old studio that the producers used to work in uh to, to i'm actually here to record my podcast i have my own equipment and stuff i'm just using the soundproof room the other office that we're in now is a lot larger with like couches and stuff i was actually about to record in there i went to go get my stuff and my boss one of my bosses tommy ass i hope you see this he scared the crap out of me he was like taking a nap on the couch i think he thought we were all gone which we were but i just went to go get some pizza and uh came back my door was closed and locked and i was like what the fuck so i go ask the front woman in the, at the desk for some help she unlocks the door and he goes boo and we both go screaming like a bunch of bitches he scared the shit out of me like i think i may have shit i gotta check later but i gotta record this podcast first <laughs> my boss tommy he's the show director uh, the entire show he does a lot <laughs> for the show but he's also like a huge kid i love this guy i've been there for like maybe a little bit over a month he has scared me i would say at least thirty-seven thousand times since i've started working there and he films every last one so i don't know what he's going to do with those if he's going to make like a compilation video of me being terrified or if he's just going home to show his wife so they can laugh i'm not really sure but tommy know that i'm coming for you I know that you're the prank king, and I know that you're probably not even watching this, but just know you're not safe anywhere. No, you are. No, you, you are. I'm actually horrible at pranking people. I do the best I can. I do the best I can. <laughs> Oh, baby, you already know what time it is, boo. It's time to go ahead, take a look at your feature comments from one of my past videos. And the video we're looking at this week is the Cardi B's Whip Shots. I'll try that. But if you're unaware, Cardi B has made some alcohol infused whipped cream. And uh, we did try that and we even created our own drink. It was a lot of fun. I literally made it up as I was filming. I, have, I, I didn't plan any of that. Jerry B, what's going on, Jerry? Jerry says, yes, Amber, I legit love every single video that you post. They all make me happy. You know what, Jerry? You make me happy. Thank you. I appreciate your support, Jerry. You have been chilling with me for quite some time, dude. Air five. Mm. Uh, next comment, we got one of our members, Miracle B. Miracle B says, because I'm a professional, I'm going to mix it with a straw, <laughs> end quote. Laugh out loud, gotta do what you gotta do. Damn right. When I was making that drink, those drinks, I, I didn't plan anything. And I was like, well, this straw will mix well. I'll use that. Who needs a spoon? Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck life. Way out here. Angel Lap, 7626. Angel says, OMG, great. I'll try that video. I have purchased this item and put it right in the refrigerator. Shake my head. Wow, reading is fundamental. <laughs> LOL, learn something new every day. You know, legit, like I responded to you in the comment, I literally almost did the same thing. I was like, oh no, don't put it in the refrigerator. So if you guys have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. Give it a thumbs up, pretty, pretty please. And share that video with your friends and family as well. Go out and uh, get yourself some whip shots. They're relatively inexpensive and they're not too bad if, the, if they're made with the right drink. Or it could be a topping for ice cream. If you haven't already, don't forget to go ahead and check out the Professionally Silly podcast. We out here audibly, you know what I'm saying? This past week's episode uh, on Friday was it was pretty funny. I decided to bring out my girl Gloria. If you follow me on TikTok, you know I got a playlist on there that says that's called Back in the Day where I play an older lady like a grandma. I got like the AI voice filter when I sound super fucking old <laughs> and I, I, I tell little stories about things I used to do when I was a kid but I'm pretending to talk to my grandchildren in like year 2075 or some shit and they usually always start off with I remember we would, we would go outside and we would play and we would run and we were free. There was jump rope, hopscotch, football, basketball, hide and seek, freeze tag. So many things to do with today. Today's youth, they don't go outside and play. <laughs> Just random shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I named that character Gloria. I remember when we were young, 
and we wanted to see the dirty moving pictures, we would have to sneak to a television inside of a room where there was no one there for privacy. And we would take the remote control and we would flip all the way to the very tip top of the channel. And we would come across these colorful channels with little squiggly lines of red and blue and green sometimes and black and white. And in between those lines, you would see a titty. It was a glorious time. Glorious. I named that character Gloria, so she joined us on the podcast, and it was great. <laughs> you know when you see a cheeseburger and you think to yourself, yo, this would make a great shoe? Did you know that Ross Geller was more than a paleontologist who didn't understand what a break was. We were on a break! <laughs> he cannot help the shape of his head. Leave that boy alone. This rumor that's going around right now about Snoop Dogg giving up smoking weed? Y'all better watch out who you call friends. Stop throwing that word around like it's free. It's not. I imagine every Waffle House employee has seen at least three guns a week. Now X only shows people fighting and a ton of porn. That's about it. Leave Will Smith alone. Damn. Her vagina must be f***ing exhausted. That episode was called Pass That Dutch. All right. Well, guys, it's been fun. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. One can of Crisco and a gently used pair of sneakers.